Las Vegas. Yeah. Right? And I think you're way too hard on yourself in that situation. I've done the Letterman show. I know when you're on the show, you just you answer quickly because that's talk shows. Yeah. And, and you describe a scenario where when you were, this is from your first album, Leave mm-hmm. Las Vegas, mm-hmm. and the song was a huge hit, and you got together with a bunch of musicians, and you guys on Tuesday nights used to perform together and write together and do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And there was a book laying there called Leaving Las Vegas, and it inspired the song. And you didn't even know they had contacted the author of the book. I hope I have the story right. but uh, uh, Kind of right. The, the title, uh, there was no book laying around, uh, but one of the writers, we, we'd always say, okay, somebody throw out a title. And one of the guys um, was standing at the back by the great big wall of bookshelves and said, oh, here's an interesting title, Leaving Las Vegas, and acted as though there was a book back there called Leaving Las Vegas. Well, I guess, unbeknownst to us, I think he had a relationship with John O'Brien or knew him or I don't, I still don't know the story because it turns out that this particular writer has a bit of a poor uh, relationship with the truth so the story changed many times but ultimately when John O'Brien took his own life I got the blame for it um, and yeah. there were lots of stuff written about how I had promised John I'd never met him and all I could think of was this was somebody's son and right. um, even if even if your conscience is clear it is gut-wrenching you know um, so yeah. it definitely put it it it, it definitely by the time I got in to make my second album, I felt like I'm going to close the door and I'm just going to write. And maybe I'll put it out and maybe I won't. But I'm just right. going to write. I'm going to make a record I like. And then then I'll decide what I'm going to do next. But you it, made it the second felt, album. When you made the second album that was such a big hit, was that also like, thank God, because I had to prove to the world that I could write my own album, produce my own album. Because everyone's accusing me of some sort of like plagiarism or something. Right, that, that's, right. that, so that drive was like, I'll show you how I do it on my own. Yeah, except I didn't feel that. I mean, it's sort of like the thing about the fiance, and you're like, oh, screw him. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel that when I went, and I, I felt like, I felt like a puppy that had been slapped in the face for no reason, and I, I just wanted to go in and kind of lick my wounds, and I closed out, I closed the doors, and. My record label didn't even know I was going to produce it because Bill was supposed to be there. And ultimately, I wound up making a record that I really love, but I never read another thing ever again. Yeah, I, but but when you perform Leaving Las Vegas like mm-hmm. you're going to do now, yeah. when you perform it, um, does it have a negative connotation in your mind because it caused you pain and uh, I saw the tears were real? I mean, is it, is it painful to sing the song because it of the It took a while for me to get... It took a while for me to make my peace with it and and actually there are songs I make my peace with and come around to feeling really grateful for them. I also when my second son was about six he I could hear him singing this in the back seat and he sang life springs a turtle and I was like oh life springs a turtle okay and now I play it and it's like oh I like 